leaving in 92 and then eventually coming on board in 1993 is really when I came on to, to No Limit, to No Limit Records. It kind of started off as being, you know, promo guy, um, you know, coming up with certain ideas on marketing and those type of things. It was really St. Charles is the one who told P like, hey, you need to make Tobin your manager and, and allow him to run the label. So that's kind of how that came to fruition is at that time, I became P's, you know, personal manager, business manager, general manager, and, and executive vice president of No Limit Records, also being in charge of the management company and managing all the artists. So it was kind of, you know, we were, you know, some folks would say it was a conflict of interest, but we were kind of doing, I was kind of doing everything. So when we were putting, putting together albums, coming up with certain concepts or picking certain singles, um, anything from what are, what are our giveaways going to look like? What are our promotions going to look like? Where are we going strategically? What cities are we going to go to and what makes sense? Um, where do we need to send t-shirts at and, and where, and who are we going to talk to and what the street team is going to look like and meeting people and, and saying, okay, we're going to make a decision on who is going to help us promote and building relationships and doing promotional, promotional events. Like all of those things were things I was responsible for back at that time. So I was at no limit from 93 to 96. And, you know, if you think about the, the transition of going through, you know, mama's bad boy to the ghetto's trying to kill me and the West coast bad boys, 99 way to, ways to die true and working with Mia X and then bringing on Mia X and Servon and KLC and Moby Dick and the starts of, and the Carlos Stevenson and the start to, starting of the beast by the pound. I mean, all of those things I was influential in putting together and, and working, working through that process. And I think the, the concept of doing a movie, a directed DVD movie, um, and, and what that looked like and putting the strategy together behind that, I think that was the, the, the thing that, that I probably overall was my responsibility of making sure people knew who we were and what we were doing and kind of making sure the world knew we were a national brand. And we weren't just a, a, a local group or local artists or local label, we were actually national. You're watching Bad That TV, your one-stop shop for the hottest urban edutainment from the UK to the US. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and also join the membership for exclusive content. Yeah, so once again, be sure to tap in with the real, drop your comments, let us know your thoughts, and do check us out on our official website, aboutthatonline.com. Peace.